I have some very important questions for the astronomical community I would like to have answered. Number one, all attempts to verify frame dragging using numerous satellites have failed. <clears throat> I'd like to know why. Number two, Pioneer Space Probe Speed Anomaly, which has been found to affect all interplanetary satellites, cannot be explained. <clears throat> I'd like to know why. Three, gravitational waves have not been directly detected, even though by all rights the detectors created so far should be more than capable of detecting them. Why? Number four, comet brightening at distances too far from the sun to be attributed to sublimating ice. Why? Number five, the fact that all comets witnessed falling into the sun or veer, very near the sun have subsequently been followed by coronal mass ejections. Why? Number six, the fact that all comets have had their nucle that have had their nucleus directly imaged have shown at best only five percent of their surface to be ice, with several showing no signs of any ice at all. Why? Number seven, I want to know why magnetic reconnection is used to explain everything from the sun to the auroras yet no electrical engineer has yet used this supposed feature of magnetic field lines to do or make anything productive in our society. Why? Number eight. I'd also like to know why the founder of magnetohydrodynamics published reams of papers stating that magnetic reconnection is a complete fallacy and misuses, misuse of his physics. Alphane states, The concepts frozen in magnetic field lines and field line reconnection play a certain role in discussions of the theory of the magnetosphere. The use of these concepts has been criticized, and we shall here demonstrate that both concepts are unnecessary and often misleading. Why? Number nine, I'd like a plausible explanation for Galaxy Quasar Quartet NGC 7603. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Why? Number ten, I'd like to know why Jupiter emits radio signals. Number 11. I'd like to know why Saturn's rings emit radio waves. Number 12. I'd like to know why Io's volcanoes move around the surface and leave burn marks behind them. Why? Number 13. I'd like to know why the wolf effect has never been thoroughly investigated as a possible cause of quasar and galactic redshift. To quote a paper by Lama and Walsh in the IEE Journal of Plasma Science, <clears throat> quote, One physical mechanism that produces redshifts is optical correlations. In fact, correlation-induced spectral changes on scattering from gases or plasmas can mimic the major features of redshifts caused by expansion, unquote. Why? Fourteen, I'd like to know why quasar luminosity is not correlated with their redshifts. Fifteen, I'd like to know why the Hubble Deep Field shows fully formed galaxies at the supposed edge of the universe. Why? Number 16. I'd like a plausible explanation for the apparent structure of large-scale voids in the cosmic background radiation. Why? 17. I'd like an explanation for why the gravitational constant changes every time it has been measured. Why? 18. I'd like an explanation for quasar... Q2237, the Einstein cross, as to why the individual quasars are observed to brighten and dim, and why they do not appear to be oblong in shape as is mandated by any theoretical explanation using gravitational lensing. Why? Number 19. I'd like to know why Einstein never believed in black holes, and why he fully agreed with Carl Schwarzschild's solution to his Mercury orbit problem which shows that there is no way a black hole could exist and be in agreement with the principles of relativity. Don't believe me? Look up Schwarzschild's original paper on Eryxiv. It's regular in all of space-time. <clears throat> Hilbert's solution is not. Why? 20. I'd like to know why the surface of the sun is only about 6,000 degrees, while the corona of the sun can get up into the millions of degrees. <laughs> why? Basically, I think you're all full of horse shit. Excuse my French. Here's a short list of a few hypothesized objects and theories that are not falsifiable and have not been directly observed. Their existence is only inferred. Black holes. 
neutron stars, neutronium and other supermassive particles that violate the island of stability in nuclear chemistry, quasars, pulsars, merging black holes, multiple dimensions, dark matter, dark energy, dark flows, cosmic inflation, the big bang, the big crunch, quark stars, magnetars, strange matter, wimps, machos, magnetic reconnection, the hydrogen fusion model of stars, gravitational waves, and the Higgs God particle. You guys think you got it all figured out? I think you are engaged in the propping up of failed theories by adding Potlamaic epicycles to previous garbage theories. I think you don't give a damn about real science, about falsification, about reality, or about furthering man's knowledge of the universe. You only care that your papers are accepted, your government funding is continued, and your status is preserved. Underlying assumptions are never questioned. New papers are written daily that base their conclusions on old papers whose theories have never been proven. There is currently a total disregard for classical physics and known behaviors of charged plasma in cosmology, which of course ripples down through all the other sciences, from biology to geology. I want some explanation.